Hello everybody and welcome back to the free online woodworking school where we aim to take your woodworking skills to the next level. In today's video, we're gonna get the base of the drawer fitted. Let's get going. Right, so there's a couple of routes you can go about this. I have personally opted for a solid wood bottom. I've got loads of cedar from a project that I'm currently working on and I thought a nice cedar drawer bottom would be really nice, not to mention very aromatic when you open the drawer and you get that sort of lovely whiff of cedar punch you in the face. However, for this method, I'm going to need to account for a little bit of expansion and contraction with regards to the cedar poking out the back of the drawer as the seasons change. However, you could quite simply just go for a straightforward plywood bottom or an MDF base, and then you don't have to deal with any of that movement whatsoever. Slide it in, plane the back off flush, done. Oh, and screw it in. Now, at the moment, the cedar is just about going into that groove, oh, but it's quite tight. And so I need to sand this down a little bit, smooth out the faces, and that'll make this fit much better. So let's do that first. Alrighty, and then we'll get it shot to size because it's a little bit too wide at the moment. Get that in the vise and plane the back of the drawer flush. Right, and because this base is solid wood, it's obviously gonna to want to expand and contract. Fortunately, cedar doesn't do this too much, but the general way of accounting for this is to screw the bottom of the drawer into the back from underneath and then just give it an elongated slot hole. In fact, we're gonna aim for a slit that just comes out the back entirely. Firstly, we'll set a marking gauge to half the thickness of the back. And after we're done with that, flip it round, find halfway on here, and then put a gauge line on that to give yourself some crosshairs. And I'm gonna be using a three by 12 millimeter screw to secure this in place. And so we need to pilot through both of these and I'm gonna be using a two millimeter drill bit for that. And then we will remove the top, perhaps just slide it out a bit, widen that to a three millimeter clearance hole so the screw is only biting in the back of the drawer and then it's kind of floating in the top and then we'll just widen that slot afterwards. And so at the moment I'm sighting along the back to ensure that I go in at 90 degrees and I'm not gonna accidentally blow out the inside. <laughs> Slide this out, widen that to a three. So then that screw shouldn't bite in there. Lovely. And then we're gonna square a knife line from the outsides of that hole to the back of the draw bottom. Square those along the top and cut right up against the edge of those lines with a nice fine saw. I'm using a Japanese saw for this. Ooh, flexible cedar. And we'll get a little countersink in there just to clean up the edges. And we'll give it just a little bit of sanding just to smooth it out. Cedar doesn't really take hard chamfers very well, so I've got to kind of round this. But if it was a harder material, you'd probably have better luck. There you go, that was, a, that was a nice quick one, wasn't it? So, as I said earlier, if you wanna do this out of MDF or plywood, literally just slot that straight in there, screw it in one or two places, and then, then you're sorted, really. I only used one screw on here, just because that's all you technically need to hold this base in, but you can do more if you really fancy it. It's completely up to you. So, in the next episode, we will get pre-sanding the internal faces and get this thing glued together, which is gonna be very, very fun. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to press the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and you can move on to the next lesson by clicking the link below. I'll see you there.